Hello, my name is Melanie and I'm the resident representative of Bailey Bay. Now, you may already be wondering what this video is about. I can tell you it all started similarly to this video, wandering around my island's residential area and thinking it's time for a change. Thanks to my friends at Twitch, I was able to comprise a list of the villagers that I wanted to receive, as you see on screen now. But things didn't exactly go as planned. So this is my villager list before, and this is it after. <laughs> Clearly, this was not as I intended. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to, how to start or what to say, but let's just get into the video. So there's clearly many stages of this process, but the most important one for today is the fact that we now have Judy. Now, this was a complete accident. We found Judy on a mystery island and we don't need Judy. So I decided to give her away in my discord and the person is ready to come pick her up today. So what I'm going to be doing is kicking out Judy. Yes, uh, you may be surprised, but this is actually the second time I had to do this. So if you want to stay in the loop of everything that's going to be happening as I progress through my island journey with these villagers every single day, I'll be streaming live on Twitch, and I'll put that link down in the description. With so many intricate steps to how I will be achieving my dreamy villagers, I decided this first video should highlight the process I am using to get rid of so many villagers. So, if you're wondering, the first thing I do is time travel 14 days ahead. If you're not time traveling, no worries, I can make another video detailing how you can kick out villagers, the specific one you want, without using time travel. But for this given video, we're going to be using the time travel method. So, I just went exactly 14 days forward, I reset the clock to 1pm because apparently that is the best time to get most villagers outside. Um, all we're going to be doing is looking for Judy, and if Judy has the thought bubble, we're going to let her be, and if not, we are going to go one day at a time forward until she does have the thought bubble. So we're going to just run around the island and try to find Judy. Um, it would be really funny if this is the first one. So it's not Judy as you would see here. We're going to see if there is another villager with the bubble just to make sure that there is a bubble. Um, my island, I just had to clear a bunch of it if you're wondering why it's so bare right now. And why there's so many flowers on the beach again, there's a lot to know. And I'll be covering that later, but today we're just going to focus on kicking out Judy. So, I'm going to time travel one more day forward, and then see you guys then. Completely forgot to time travel, so... Um, the I did time travel, but the game wasn't closed, so it didn't like account for my changing the time. Um, we also have a campsite villager, which is another fun perk of doing these uh, time travelings. When you're trying to kick out the villager, you might actually find one of your dreamies through the campsite. So we're going to go check that out. Um, also, I could sh while we go to do that, I will share some of the tips so you don't make the same mistake that I just did. So when you're using this time travel method, you need to save the game on that date 14 days prior. Once you save the date, then you can go 14 to 15 days forward and look for the dark th oh, sorry, <laughs> look for the thought bubble. If you see the thought bubble on someone that's not the person or you can't find it at all, I would still recommend trying to find the specific person you're trying to kick out and make sure it's not their thought bubble day. Sometimes it still is their day, even if they're indoors or not. So try to get them outside by time traveling to another time. Again, I'm not going to take anyone that's not on this find list right here on screen. Oh, um, a purple villager, similar to my favorite villager ever, uh, Bob, but not exactly the purple one we're looking for, so we're going to get back to that method. But as I was saving, saying previously, you really need to make sure it's not that person's bubble day, or you can completely miss it, and it will really delay your process some more. So you can do that just by finding the villager. If they're inside, time travel a few hours forward, and just make sure you see them. As you can see here, this is Stitches, and we are not, definitely not trying to lose him today. So I'm going to save the game. That's an important step. You need to save it, or the bubble won't register as already have being on Stitches, and then you will have a higher chance that it's still on Stitches. So just for everyone's sake, save the game and go to the next day, which I'm about to do, and then I'll see you then. Okay, so now we're attempting for day number two. I normally do this on stream. This is my first time doing it off stream in a while. So it's a little weird for me to be doing it alone and not be interacting in chat. But we will proceed. Um, 
if you want to join us, I would really appreciate that. Just uh, go on and say you're from YouTube, so that would be really cool to know if anyone saw this video and decided to check out the stream. But I'm... No! No, not Lolly. No. Oh, no, guys. Um, I don't know what even type of emote to do at a time like this. Perhaps this one? Distress? That seems pretty accurate. Oh, look, even Ketchup looks sad. Okay, so we're definitely not going to let Lolly leave. Um, we're going to save and go to the next day. See you on day number three. It's now only day three, and I'm already having trouble counting. So I hope it's day three. But if you're wondering why I figure out figure eight through the houses, it's because I'm trying to make sure I don't miss the person with the bubble. So I just run around every single day, and no, it's not Judy. Oh no, guys, this might be a while. I wonder who it is, but I don't want to waste time by figuring it out, because the only person I'm willing to let go of today is Judy. So we're going to save and end, and if this takes a long time, I might have to speed up through the next few days. So it's day number four, and I'm already getting a little frustrated watching Isabelle's messages over and over again, and her repeating that there is never any news. But I did want to clarify that it is a more efficient method to do this if you're willing to kick out a variety of your villagers. When you're targeting one like I am, the campsite or amiibo are way more efficient. But for me personally, I am trying to stream uh, villager hunting after, directly after filming this video. So that's why I would like to get rid of Judy and also have that open plot. Um, if it comes down to it, I need to give away the uh, giveaway prize being Judy soon. I might uh, take the next campsite villager. But for now, oh no. What I was saying was, for now, we are only trying this method. And as you can see, it's Sherb. And we just got Sherb on stream the other day. And I'm not ready to say bye to Sherb. So, see you guys on the next day. Day number five. Let's really hope that it's Judy. I also am not sure about the day numbers. And I know I'm going to say that throughout this video. But next time, I'll be sure to include some sort of tally system so that I don't forget. And then you guys could also visually see. But for now, oh no, I forgot it's a Saturday. Okay, everybody, <laughs> learn from my mistakes. Um, if you weren't aware, on Saturdays, villagers actually cannot ask to move out. So we are definitely mistaken today. Um, I don't have a calendar up, so it's hard for me to know which days are Saturdays. But I'll try to remember when it's seven days from this day if we're still trying to kick Judy. But, yeah, so this really doesn't count as day five, I guess, but we'll include it for the sake of the video <laughs> and for hopefully teaching you guys to learn from my mistakes. Day number six. Um, this is the point where I start to lose hope, and I just saw Judy, and she did not have a thought bubble, so I guess that means we can immediately move on, and <laughs> hopefully day number seven brings better luck. This is day seven, I'm guessing. I just took a break to eat dinner, so I'm fully not sure. Um, I don't even remember if I time traveled, to be honest. So that's one of the hazards with this method. You really gotta keep track of what you're doing, and I'm clearly not, but <laughs> I hope it's fun to watch. Oh no, it's Lolly. I can't tell you if it's because she had the bubble before if I forgot to time travel or not. So, Perhaps when I edit this video back, I'll figure it out. But, so, we're head on to apparently day 8. We're going to go by day 8. If it's wrong for the rest of the video, I'm really sorry. But we're going to go by day 8 from now on. Day 8. I'm still guessing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think we're on day 8. I'm going to stop saying I think what day it is. Because it's probably frustrating for you guys to know exactly what day it is. And I don't. But I'm hoping she has the bubble. No, it's always Fauna. I want to talk to Ketchup because I just got Ketchup and I want to be able to give her the um, gift of a hot dog costume. So we got to build that friendship. Um, but yeah, so that's all for this day. Day nine. Let's see what's what's happening today. Um, I'm kind of hopeful. Um, it starts. To, this is like the point where you kind of. I don't want to say lose hope, but something along those lines. Uh, Judy, where are you? I didn't check if she was in her house. Maybe I should have done that. 
perhaps we'll go back and check. I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> it's a lot different, like I said, doing these as pre-recorded videos. But if you want to join me as I do this. <gasps> oh my goodness, yes! Oh guys, this is perfect. No, my computer just died. No. Oh no, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. <laughs> no, that's the best part. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm going to remove the device. I cannot believe this happened. Okay. Would you rather I stay put? Aw, uh, how foolish of me. I mustn't neglect all my admirers here. No! No! So, um, sorry there was a cut there. I'm assuming what happened was my uh, OBS froze while she was asking me to leave and I guess I accidentally hit yes for her to stay and that's never happened to me before so I'm glad I was recording because um yeah no one's gonna believe me but I'm not sure if the video showed me clicking it but on my screen it showed absolutely nothing so I'm sorry for this black screen right now. I'm logging back in. I closed the game as soon as I realized what was happening and I'm really hoping that it didn't save that and we don't have to restart this whole progress. <laughs> this was supposed to be a little bit of a tutorial video and I completely ruined it and I'm really sorry about that. Um, perhaps I will have to restart this video, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna leave this in because it's pretty hilarious. Okay, I'm back. I'm not sure what I left in, but I accidentally told Judy to stay because my screen froze. Um, I don't know if my capture card was loose or whatever, but <laughs> it was very scary as I've been doing this for about an hour now. But I am going to let Judy leave now and then we will be having the person who won the giveaway in my Discord server come get Judy. Okay, so today is the day that Judy's in boxes, as you can see in these announcements. But I just wanted to use this time to let you guys know that if you want to participate in giveaways like these or the daily events that I host, you could feel free to join the Discord server that I'll have linked below. Also, if you're hesitant or have any questions, you could always ask me by friending me on Discord, or you could also just join the server. The first page of the server is our mission statement and rules. So if you uh, don't like what you see, you could always leave at any point. But I would love to grow that community and have more people helping out. Uh, that'd be great. And as always, you could also ask me questions on Twitch. I'm live every single day and I answer every chat message. So feel free to say hi or ask a question. Um, so we have mission accomplished right here. I don't mean to clap at the fact that she's leaving, but um, it is rewarding that I get to pass her along to someone who wants her more than I do and then also pursue my dreamies. So... Again, I'm going to end this video by showing the list that um, clearly isn't accurate to what I have anymore, but I'm going to be editing this. So as you can see, since this image was made, I actually kicked out Molly, Tangy, Raymond, Marshall, and Zucker, but I only found ketchup. So we have some other villagers. Um, some of them are inside jokes within the Twitch streams, but... It's all, it's overall been a great experience, and I will continue to pursue the uh, other villagers on my find list. So I hope you join me, and again, please say hi if you're from YouTube. I would love to know if anyone sees the video and decides to head on over to Twitch. Uh, feel free to give me any feedback in the comments, because this was my first YouTube video. I'm excited for some more, but yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if anyone's watching this and you're not from the discord server my instagram or twitch please let me know i'd love to know if anyone just happened to stumble upon this video organically through youtube i think that would be really interesting um but if you are from one of those places also feel free to comment uh how you originally found me and yeah i really appreciate it thank you guys again uh, goodbye i am back to get a code for the giveaway winner to come pick up judy I wasn't going to include this part, but I think it's always fun to have a guest over, so that's what I'm going to be doing.
uh, throughout this Dodo dialogue. Um, I don't know really what to say, but I'm going to leave the list up here so that you guys can uh, look at the list and let me know if you have any questions. There's clearly a lot of things to question there. Um, specifically, uh, why Molly's on there twice in two different categories, why I wanted to get rid of some so many traditional dreamies. Um, a lot of these will be answered throughout the other videos, but of course you can always ask me just directly in the comments, Discord, or during the stream if you need an answer. Yay! It looks like everything went well. And yeah, I hope you guys catch me in the next video on Discord or on Twitch. Thank you once again.